Welcome to Listen to Your Heart. My name is Fawaz al I'm a cardiologist interested in cardiovascular imaging and cardio-oncology. Welcome. I'm Bailey DeBarmore, and I'm a cardiovascular epidemiologist. Today, we'll be talking about heart failure. Fawaz, how would you describe heart failure? Heart failure is when your heart can't pump enough blood and oxygen to support other organs in your body. When diagnosed with heart failure, some patients feel like they are doomed. Despite the name of heart failure, doesn't mean your heart has stopped beating or that the condition isn't treatable. That's right. Clinicians, when you discuss heart failure with your patients, don't forget to explain what's going on in their body, how it's going to impact their day-to-day -day activities, and what treatment will look like. That's right. Last time we discussed hypertension, and treated hypertension can damage the muscle in your heart, the muscle that lets your heart bump and lead to heart failure. Existing heart disease or previous heart attack and diabetes can damage your heart, leading to heart failure. About 6.5 million adults in the U.S. have heart failure, and half of those have heart failure with preserved ejection fraction, sometimes called HEFPEF for short. Ejection fraction, or EF, refers to how well your heart can pump blood out of its chambers and out into the body and a low EF was considered a key characteristic of heart failure until we recognized HEFPEF. So that's right. People with heart failure but normal or preserved ejection fraction represent a diverse group of patients and regular heart failure treatment often doesn't work. Much research has aimed to better define the disease and find ways to treat it. Both types of heart failure present with similar symptoms, including a dry hacking cough, shortness of breath with activity or at rest, discomfort or swelling in the stomach area or the lower body, dizziness, trouble lying flat, and loss of appetite. If you experience any of these symptoms, they're all good reasons to go see your doctor. Perfect. If you have already been diagnosed with heart failure, it is important to follow the treatment plan you have came up with with your doctor. Taking your medication as prescribed, checking your weight daily to check the fluid gains, maintaining a low sodium diet, and keeping your follow-up visit are all key steps to manage heart failure symptoms and prevent worsening. When your heart can't keep up enough blood supply to your lungs, you may experience shortness of breath, which your doctor may call dyspnea. Fluid can build up in your lungs and shortness of breath can progress from dyspnea during activity, at rest, or while sleeping, requiring you to prop yourself up on pillows. Okay, and with pillows, heart failure can also involve the kidneys. Bailey mentioned fluid building up in your lungs, but fluid can build up in your tissue too. Blood returning from your legs can back up and leading to swelling or edema. Your kidneys can filter out of your blood as well as they could be for and changing levels of sodium also lead to fluid retention as well as confusion. Just remember, you can come up with a treatment plan that works for your preferences and lifestyle by partnering with your doctor. You can manage your symptoms and improve your quality of life. That's all for today. Thanks for tuning in. Join us next time to talk about cardio-oncology.